Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shine Plays. Welcome back to the wonderful world of Valachia, where our name is now hiding over here. It's like, I don't want to be over there anymore. We used to have this big, bold name everywhere, and now it's just hiding. That's okay. Since we got Maros, it moved over. It looks like we're at 100% on some rebels spawning, some Hungarian nationalists. I don't know which province they're going to be in, but the only revolt risk is in Pest. And... Of course, when you load a save, this is the first recording of the day, so of course when you load a save file, it doesn't include the uh, tolerance. And we, we currently have really high tolerance. So it's not counting tolerance when it calculates the numbers at the start of the, when you load a save file. It should, but for some reason when you load a save file, everything is just fucked up. You can't really trust any of the numbers. Oh well, we're going to have some rebels spawn. Uh, I'm wondering if... Austria will break his alliance with me, like, right away. He probably will. France probably wants his alliance back. Yeah, France wants the alliance back. But if I do that, I'm making sure I can't get Burgundy. And I'm kind of thinking Burgundy is going to be a better option than France as we move forward. France's allies are crap. Uh, Burgundy is allied to Castile, so that's a pretty good ally. And Burgundy could definitely help me beat Austria. But the question is, would that be a smart move? Burgundy's got the largest military on the planet, but he wouldn't help me against the Ottomans. He's too far away. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised the Mamluks haven't pulled the trigger on the Ottomans. The Ottomans aren't even on the front page of armies. They're not even here. And the Mamluks are sitting here with, th with 39k, and then they haven't attacked yet. Ottomans have 19k. I don't know what the Mamluks are waiting for. Their truce is gone a long time ago. I don't know what he's waiting for. He should have declared on the Ottomans by now. But we have a truce with the Ottomans for a while. It's only going to be a five-year truce, right? Actually, yeah, the truce ends next year. So we could look to going to war with him next year, and that could be a way to keep Austria busy so that he won't break our alliance right away. It's actually a decent plan. And Austria is going to be the next emperor. He's got three votes. We'll see what happens. How are we doing on a force limit? We need seven more soldiers. Okay, where are we going to get seven more soldiers? Hmm. And what kind of soldiers do we need? Probably... We're making three ducats. Why don't we get two more cannons, two more cav, and two more soldiers. Then we'll look and see how much income we still have after that. Probably not very much. Oh, there goes our money. Oh, there's the Hungarian nationalists. Ooh, lose 10 legitimacy. Or gain 20 legitimacy. Uh, national tax plus 10 for 5 years is not very much. I'm not going to pay that much just for just for 10 legitimacy. It's not worth it. There you go. Spain has formed Spain. Congratulations, Spain. So now he can integrate Naples at his leisure. Kind of weird seeing him with Provence. That gives him a lot more money. How do I even deal with these rebels? Hmm. Yeah, so now that it calculates tolerance, revolt risk... Oh, no. Uh, recently revolted. Yeah, negative 20. But even now, yeah, tolerance is now included at negative 3. Alright, who should I kiss kiss? We could try going... Well, I should probably keep Lithuania happy. If we're going to rely on him for a while, I should keep him happy. We still have our claims on the Ottomans? Yes, we do. Yep. So we'll try declaring on the Ottomans next year. Ooh, tech up time. I don't want to tech up a year ahead. We'll wait. Ottomans already tech up. That's fine. Austria, finish your fucking war. What is this anyway? The Saxon conquest of Brunswick. Oh, wow. Look at Munster. Yep. 
Yay, we finished our mission to build a fort. What's the next mission? Claim Moravia. Um, I could. Protect against Poland, 24. Rival of a threat in Mamluks, 125. Yeah, I can't really do the Mamluks. I just can't. I can get to 120, but not 125. Because he'll never take access. I could give him a gift, but that would be a very large expense. You know, we both hate the Ottomans. Maybe I just go for the alliance. Maybe I call him into the war. Maybe that's how we get him involved. I'm only one over the limit. I can do that. Alright, we'll try that. But let's claim this province first, because it's free 25 points. Austria is still friendly for some damn reason. Screaming kids upstairs, that's fun. We have discovered the Lesser Antilles. Oh, no one's colonized there yet. All right. Interesting. But you can see there's Spain up here and Portugal down here. Portugal's going heavily for Africa, and Spain looks like they're going around. Yeah, Spain's just skipping Africa. They're going to go to South Africa and then around. Okay, Slovenia has converted. So where's the Center of Reformation converting next? He's going to Bihar. It's interesting, he's skipping, up, he's skipping Beckys and going straight to Bihar. I didn't know that was really possible. I mean, I've seen it. But it doesn't really make much sense when that happens, where it skips a province. Eh, whatever. We're still working on Silistria. Oh, geez, both of these are positive already? Wow. Nine, five, and four. Eh, it's not bad. It could be better. Let's get one more soldier. Oh shit, we lost our royal marriage with Austria. Oh, and he no longer wants my lands. Austria no longer wants my lands. Because he's no longer a, a militaristic leader. Ah, oh, okay. So when he was a militaristic leader, he wanted my lands. Negative 155 relations. Now that he's died, he no longer wants my lands. All right. No, that's fair. So what month is my truce up? September. We've got to wait a full year. Ouch. As long as those guys don't stand on the same province, we should be okay to take them out. So how old is the Palatinate leader? Because when he dies, the Emperorship goes back to Austria. He's only 36. He could live a long time. But he is at war, and he's probably leading armies. Alright, we converted Silistria. Let's do... Let's do the capital. Alright, so how many months do I have on these guys? I hope I have like a year or two. Mm. 58 months. Oh, tons of time. Okay. Mm, supply limit's only 18 here. That's pretty garbage. Uh, any place where we have low supply limit like that, I need to increase the fort level. Also, apparently now we're losing one duck at a month. Are you kidding me? We're not even at our force limit and we're losing money? Wow. 
Okay, well, don't supply the army then. Save up some cash. Also, uh, what do we got? Diplo annexation cost. Uh, sure. Oh, Bohemia has unrivaled us. Interesting. He chose Saxony. All right. Oh yeah, we can tech up now. Good idea. Ne the next tech actually gives us more supply limits, so that's nice. God, this general's so bad. A 0-1. These guys have a 2-1 and a 1-2. Okay, finishing our mission. There we go. 25 prestige. I like it. Next is rival of a threat, Mamluks. Protect against Poland. 30. I can't do 30. Attack Bohemia. Now I'll go for rival of a threat. We'll see if we can get these 25 uh, Diplo points by allying the Mamluks. I don't know if they'll take it. They might. They might. How are we doing on income here? Four ducats on trade. That's not amazing. Yeah, you know, yesterday people were suggesting to... Wait, we transfer to Vienna? No, no, it's just automatic. Yesterday people were suggesting to collect in Ragusa because we have the important center of trade there. But there's just no money here. There's so little money in Ragusa. Doesn't seem worth it. At least in Constantinople, we're pulling in over four ducats, which is not bad. Alright, so my vassal is going to go unseed Zeppies for me, that's great. Free diplomat. What do we want to do? Um, could get our marriage back with Austria. But if we're thinking of jumping ship, I don't know if I should bother. Like, maybe we get a marriage with Burgundy instead. Nah, let's keep let's keep Spain happy. I do want to get an alliance with Spain. If he if he'll unrival me, I'll I'll go alliance Spain, no problem. Well, he rivals the Mamluks. Damn it! Why don't you rival the Ottomans, you piece of shit? We lost our marriage with Lithuania, but we can get that back. In fact, he'll probably he'll probably offer it to us. Ah, we'll see. We're pretty good in Lithuania, I think. Transylvania has collapsed, and the Daki War. Something about Smallland, whatever. It's got rebels. How many? Eh, Fourteen thousand rebels. Whatever. I got more than that. Okay, can you please peace out of your wars so Austria is ready to help me? Oh, Burgundy's not friendly anymore. Whatever. Okay, Maros is about to core. Very good. There we go. Yay, cores! I'm tempted to lower the autonomy in some of these provinces, like Bessarabia. Yeah. 0 0.6 unrest, I can handle that.
Anything above 1, I'm just going to skip. But 0 0.6, that is nothing. Okay. And we converted the capital. Fantastic. Uh, who's next? You guys want to convert? Nope. Oh, have we, has it been 10 years already? Did we lose our bonus? No. Oh, you just don't get the bonus on Sunni provinces. Of course. Moldavia, yeah. Free diplomat. I guess we'll go for the marriage. We'll just do it. Truce of the Ottomans is up. Alright, so who wants to join me here? Uh, I mean, I'm assuming he's still weak. He's got 30,000 troops. Uh, he's not that weak. His allies are still Tunis, which really sucks. Tunis has that navy that's so fucking annoying. Hmm. No, we can't form Romania because Byzantium still exists. We have to annex our vassal before we form Romania. So it's going to be a while before we hit the button. Okay, Venice would join, but not Austria and not Lithuania. Why not Lithuania? Just defensive attitude. Austria would join if he wasn't busy. All right, let's work on let's work on uh, getting Lithuania involved. Okay, Spain's fighting Tlemcen, that's fun. Kinda wish Spain would declare on Tunis, that way he'd fight the Ottomans. Oh, well he is fighting Tunis, but he's not fighting the Ottomans. Probably go for trade right now. See if we can't make some money. Ooh, lose 10 fervor points and gain unrest in Bihar, or gain fervor points and get rebels. I don't need fervor points. Thank you. Keep failing. Failed again. That gets frustrating. Just the constant failures. Because it's not like you're failing once at 35 or once at 49. You failed all the way up to that number and you're failing at that number. But the fucking rebels are getting him. There we go. Come on, Byzantium, get that shit. Austria's still in his stupid war, so he can't join me. Uh, Lithuania is probably close to joining.
Yeah, I don't know if the Mamluks are going to work out or not. I mean, we're get, we are good relations, but he still just doesn't like us. Huh. You would think that since we both hate the Ottomans, he'd be interested in an alliance, but the answer is no. He's just, he doesn't care. That should be a strong reason to want an alliance when you both have the same rival. But he doesn't seem to give a shit. Okay, there goes Zeppies. Maybe I can get the check mark on and get Byzantium back here. No, he's just going home. He doesn't care. There's just too many of them. 43,000 guys? If I had a better general, I could probably take him out right now. But my general sucks. He's a 0 1. Hmm. Oh, Ragusa is flipping. Good. Oh my god, you... Okay, Austria finally peaced out of his war. Do you have any troops? <laughs> He's got a few. He's got 30. Okay. And the Ottomans have ballooned up to 40k. So Ottomans have doubled their strength in the last couple years. While I'm just sitting here with rebels. I think I just have to go for it. Oh, he's got seven cavalry, though. I don't think I can beat that. Well, we'll never know if we don't try. God, we're getting fucked. Rolling zeros. Great. No, oh, Austria's gonna get him. Oh, thank God, Austria. Okay, well that's one army down. What about the other one? Maybe I just have to engage it to get Austria to help. Okay, the Mamluks have declared on the Ottomans. This is, this is quite possibly the worst timing possible. The Mamluks have declared on the Ottomans. But not until the Ottomans have rebuilt their army. I mean, wh wh what is the point of waiting that long? The Mamluks have not changed their army. They were 39,000 at the start of this video, and they were 39,000 while we were fighting the Ottomans, and they're still at 39,000. At the start of this video, the Ottomans had 19 troops, and the Mamluks waited until the Ottomans had 42,000 before they declared war. I don't even know what to say. Oh, Jesus. Mom looks you're dumb as hell. But this is still a good time for us to declare. So let me pull my Diplo back and see what people say about declaring for Sophia.
Austria's in, Lithuania's out, but he's very close. How close are we to max relations? Pretty close. Do you have access? You do have access. Can I guarantee you? No. I could try giving him some money. Oh, the reason he won't join is because he's in another war. Alright. Um, fighting in another war, negative 20. Okay, but... Yeah, Sophia, definitely what we declare for. And I need to do it before Austria gets busy in some other bullshit war. Austria has no manpower. That's a big concern. Does he have any war exhaustion? Is there a way to tell if he has war exhaustion? He has 0 0.8. Alright, so that's not a problem. Yeah, he's good to go. Does Lithuania have war exhaustion? 0 0.8 as well. Mm, I think we just go for it and then we can call him in somewhere along the lines. Because right now the Mamluk's just going to get crushed. Alright, let's do it. I need to dock up my navy. Slow down time. And we'll see about getting... Ooh, tech. Do I want tech? I need points to core, but I also want tech. I'll take the tech. We'll see about getting Lithuania in the war in a, in a little bit. Okay, Venice is in, Austria is in, great. Uh, I don't want Venice to siege this because it's his core. But then again, it doesn't matter if he joins. It doesn't matter if he takes it or not. Uh, well, I don't even know what to say, Mamluks. You guys are dumb. You guys are D-U-M dumb. George is busy fighting in another war. I should have checked. I could probably, I could probably have pushed George into this war. That would have been smart of me, but I didn't check. Holy shit, Georgia just full annexed Ostrakhan. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Holy crap, Georgia. Okay, I'm going to cultivate that. You and me are going places, Georgia. I'm going to ally the shit out of you after this war. Wow. Wow. Muscovy has rivaled me. Well, that's not good. Whatever. Alright, Venice, I want you in Byzantium. Lithuania is close. Not quite there. I'm still regrouping troops here. Crimea apparently has a good general. gonna catch me here? Fuck you, he is gonna catch me here. Check mark on. God, fucking forced march bullshit. He doesn't even have maneuver, but he's still able to catch me. He's got a 2-2 two -two versus my 0-1. And our general died. Our zero one one general died. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, wow. Venice crushed that mo that Ottoman army. That was great. The timing of that was perfect. We, we retreated the day before Venice arrived. So Venice and Austria were able to crush that army. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. I'm just going to unseed shit. You guys do whatever. But we're out of time for this first episode today, so come back later. Oh, it might be tomorrow on YouTube, I don't know. But later on Twitch. Come back in a little bit for continuation of this wonderful fourth offensive war against the Ottoman Turks. Now this time we can actually get ticking war score by sieging Sofia. That'll be good. 
Uh, hopefully the Mamluks don't peace out soon, but they probably will. They're just pussies. They, they really declared at a terrible time. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.